what's important is that people can think about this as we're discovering that there is a field and it's a field of information and it's at the source of mass energy it's at the source of the material world and most likely at the source of our consciousness or our our experience of the universe would this be Nassim kind of like what religion and spiritual traditions have been discussing of you know the divine the creator god all of that would that be sort of like just in your opinion i mean this is just opinion but would you say that that is just a reflection of that that's sort of like the handiwork of that or would you say that um if you look at something like taoism for example where they're discussing how how that energy moves and flows a very seems to me to be a very accurate understanding of actually advanced physics then is this really we're talking about the divine or we're talking about what people have called god absolutely i think that like you had all kinds of different names in many different ancient civilization from chi to mana to you know all these things uh, where you know masters were masters at at uh, engineering and and influencing the flow of that energy um and I think it's described in many different religious um, uh, traditions and, and ancient traditions and so on. Uh, it just never was interpreted as this is actually the physics on how things work. Mm -hmm. It always stayed in the philosophical you know, realm of religions and so on. But actually, now we're, what we're discovering is, no, 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 the universe really is one because everything is communicating and it really is bathing in this energy that's omnipresent omniscient you know because it's everywhere it knows everything so yeah you could totally associate it with our concepts of god and and that's why i say that um spirituality concept esoteric concepts are basically just the physics we haven't understood yet